Hello dear friends today we are going to continue the next point of the fifth topic that's a human evolution did you ever wonder why the human brain has such a capacity why and how we evolved along these lines what is the extent of similarities between our human chimpanzees and monkey to know all these phenomena we are going to continue the point that's a human evolution the first of all it include the class mammalia this mammalia it is categorized it into three form first one is a marsupial means it says as a pouched mammal second one is a monotremes that is says as the egg laying mammals and the third one is a uterine it says as the placental mammal this uterian it is classified it into order primates there is a two sub orders of primate the first sub order it's a prosmin and the second sub order it's a anthropoidy the sub order prosmin it's a example is a lemur and the second one is a tarsus the sub order anthropoidy it includes the three super family the first super family it says as the sipoidy second one is a sarcopticoidy and the third one is a hominoidy the in the sipoidy it include the new word monkey that is it's a characteristic it's a long parental tail its example is a squirrel monkey and the spider monkey second one it's a sarcopticoidy it says as the old world monkey it shows a characteristic like the short non parental tail its a example is a baboon macaque and the langur and the third one is a hominoidy it's a example it's a great apes the hominoidy it shows the three families first family it's a halobatidae second family it's a fungidae and the third one it's a hominidae the first family it's a halobatidae it includes the arboreal apes and the chipot and the second family it's a fungidae it in these animals are the semi arboreal that's a gorilla chimpanzee and the orangutans and the hominidae it includes the human beings so this sub order anthropoidy it includes a new world monkey old world monkey and the hominoidy this new world monkey it's having the long parental tail it's having the short non parental tail and these are the great apes this hominoidy it's a three families first one it's a halobatidae second one this halobatidae it's a gibbon and the arboreal apes second one it's a pongida it includes the gorilla chimpanzee and the orangutans and the third one is a hominidae it includes the human beings so when we see the human evolution there are this human beings that is a human evolution it's a categorized it's a four main stages in the origin of man the first stage it says as a ape stage second it says as the ape man stage third one it's a primitive man and the fourth one it's a modern man we see the one by one in detail in the ape stage the first one we see that is says as the dryopithecus this dryopithecus it is also says as the proconsul it is an ape like primates evolved from prolipithecus it was lived in miocene epoch near about 20 to 25 million years ago the fossil bone of it was discovered by lsb lickey near the lake of victoria of africa in 1930 it shows similarities with chimpanzee it shows the semi erect posture the fossils are discovered in haridwar in bilaspur district of himachal pradesh the second one we see that is the ramapithecus this ramapithecus it was a ape like lived in late miocene and the early pliocene epoch near about 12 14 to 12 million years ago the fossils are discovered by j levis in the form of the teeth and jaw the bone on the rock of siwali hills in india he walked erect on hind limbs okay so this one is a hind limbs on the basis of scientists it was believed that it is evolved from dryopithecus next one is australopithecus 
This Australopithecus, it is discovered in a lime quarry near the tongue of South Africa in the form of the skull cap of child. The fossils are studied by Ramananda. It is a connecting link between the ape and the man. This ape-like characteristic, that is, it's a face, it's a prognathous teeth and the jaw large, chin is absent, lumbar curvature, it's a present. This is a characteristic like the man-like, the eyebrows reached. This is a characteristic of the ape-like and this reached eyebrow, it is directed on eyes. The cranial capacity, it's a 450 to 650. And it shows the man-like characteristic, which the man-like characteristic, that is the height is about the near the four feet, more or less erect posture, and the vertebral column it has the distinct lumbar curve. Next one is a Homo habilis. This Homo habilis, it is found. It shows as the handy man-like. It's a handy man-like. It is found in 1959 to 60. In the Taziana, Africa live near near about the 2 million years ago. It's a large brain and more the human-like features than the Australopithecus. It shows a erect posture and the bipedal locomotion. Its cranial capacity is near about the 600 to 800 cc. It's a good hunter. That is, he makes the tool with the help of the animal bone and the stone. So, it's a nickname. It's a handy man. The next one, it's a Homo erectus. This Homo erectus, it's a ape-like. And it's a says as the Java and the Peking man. That is, it's a fossil. It is found in the Java and the Peking. They discovered in 1891 in the rock of Java. And Africa and Asia was in the East Africa about the 1.9 million year ago or near about the 1.5 million year ago it's a found in the pleistocene epoch in the middle of the pleistocene epoch it's a height it's near about the five feet the prognathous face is there the massive jaw and the huge teeth chin is absent the bony eyes Round reached is present. The vertebral column shows the curves. He the erect posture known as the Homo erectus. The hind limb. It's a longer than the four limbs. Limbs is useful for the bipedal locomotion. And its cranial capacity is near about the 900 cc. They are the probably eat, eat the meat. They are the omnivorous. Might have used the fire. The next one, it's a Nedelthan man. This Nedelthan man, it is an advanced prehistoric man. It is found in the Nedelthan Valley in Germany. It's a found, it's a period in, that's a, this Nedelthan man, it's a present in the period, that's a late Pleistocene epoch, near about the 1 lakhs to 14,000 year ago. It's a heavy build, short prominent, brown, Reached. It's a low forehead. It's a low forehead. It's a deep jaw. Absence of chin and outwardly curved thin bone. It is a, shows a erect posture and its cranial capacity is near about the 1400 cc. Use the height for it. Your dead construction plane tools. That is, in case of this Nedelthan man, there are also the four limbs. Four limbs were short, thin limbs long, and the locomotion is the bipedal. Next one, it's a Homo sapien. This Homo sapien, it's a modern man. It's a found in the, the site of fossils, it is found in Africa. It shows a erect posture and its cranial capacity is near about the 1450. It's developed the distinct phrase, faces. It develops the distinct faces, develop caves, arch about the 18,000 years ago. That is, it's a facial angle is vertical, 
nose are elevated well developed chin is well developed eyebrows are reached and the cranial capacity is not about the 1450 cc as the cranial capacity of human being increase over a period of time and the larger size of the frontal lobe helps in the development of the huge forehead in addition to this there is a increasing the intelligence of the man also that is the intelligence of the man it is increases from australopithecus to homo habilis homo habilis to homo erectus to netherland man and towards the homo sapiens means there is increasing the cranial capacity of in case of the human evolution in addition to this the first one it's a dryopithecus they shows the semi erect posture then dramapithecus is the erect then then again there is a evolution this dryopithecus it shows a quadrupedal but the homo sapien it shows the bipedal locomotion means there is the evolutionary history of the man was traced with the help of the fossils which is found over the period of time that is we see that the dryopithecus is evolved the ramapithecus ramapithecus evolved the australopithecus then there is evolved the homo habilis homo habilis to homo erectus nedelthan man then the last one is a homo sapien that's our journey of evolution still continue you can see our journey of evolution is still continue hope so you understood it thanks for watching my video stay tuned to my channel thank you